guys steven here back with another video and today i'm going to teach you how you can make a very clean and professional looking thumbnail on photoshop so to start it all off just press file new and this will open up the project settings so in here make the width 1280 and the height 720 that's the resolution of a thumbnail make sure it's pixels and make sure it's background contents as transparent and not white or background color press ok once you're done you'll see this canvas that is transparent that means i mean that is checkered that means it's transparent so the first thing i tend to do is find the background for my thumbnails first so here it depends what video your what your video is about so in this case maybe i'll do like samsung galaxy s6 edge plus just because it has a long name i don't know i just thought of that and then let's look for a really hd and crispy image here because that's very important um let's just take this one and just save it and then now let's go back here press file place or you can just drag it out of uh, here you can just drag this image in it's all up to you and some people might have file placed embedded or something like that it's the same thing so the press file place in here and you want to hold shift and drag it at the same time if you don't it'll end up like this like it'll stretch and you want to center the background just in case you sh you made it too big and you you put it into the image just press Control a on the layer and then press align horizontal centers and it'll just align it Next thing you want to do is find a color that will fit with this. So maybe it'll be a light blue and you'll make the fill whatever color you want. Maybe you want it red actually. And the stroke should be nothing. So make sure it's that line crossing. That means there is no color selected. And then you want to lower the opacity. So select on the rectangle there and just do that. And it actually looks really good right now. So for the text part of things, you want to have a very thin text and a very thick text. And you want to have one of them the color of the background and the other color white or black. If you have a light background, they make the text dark. If you have a dark background, they make the text light. So this is a fairly dark background. So I would make my text white. So here, I actually use a very, let's see. Let's use a thinner text here. Next to light. I'll leave this in the description if you guys want. So I'll write Samsung. Let me just make this a lot smaller to like Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So I'm just going to press Control T to resize it. And then I'll center it by pressing Control A and pressing Align Horizontal Centers right here. And pressing the Select tool, you have to press the Select tool. Press Control D to deselect. Next, you want to add a thicker text at the bottom and make sure it is a different font that is thicker. So here I would say Review or 2015 Review. And then I'll make it thicker. So I'll use this, the bold fonts. It just looks thick. It's called bold, so it should be thick. Press Control T to resize and then hold Shift while you drag it. And now press control on both of these so control control select at the same time press control a and then align horizontal centers again then press control e and then align vertical centers or before you do that you can uh edit the layer styles so you can press right click on the layers on the text layer and once you gradients and make it 25 and then you can also add the drop shadow if you want that's all up to you so if you want to look that but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to add the gradient and then i'm going to Right click, copy layer style, right click, paste layer style so you don't have to do more work. And then now I would change this to red because that's like matching the background and I want it to be a different color. Next thing I want to do is you can't really see the white text right there. It's like it's visible, but it doesn't look that good. So what you would want to do is go on top of the image in the background, but I'll just go on top of this um, rectangle to here. Press hue and saturation under adjustments layer and then lower the lightness. So it's a little bit more visible. Next thing you want to do is press control on both of those text layers. Press control A to merge the layers. Press control A, press the select tool and align vertical centers and horizontal centers. And then that's basically it. But if you want to do this, this is optional. You can press under here under the layers and then you can press overlay. So it like overlays on both of the layers. So let's just do that. Or you can do soft light or any of these, just test them out. But most tech YouTubers actually do overlay on their thumbnails. So that might look nice. And so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully you learned something from it. Leave a thumbs up if you did. If we can hit 200 likes, that would be nice. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button as it will help a lot. Also, if you want to make free banners, covers, photos, collages, and more, you can check out photojet.com. It's a free service and provides hundreds of different simple and professional looking templates and lets you customize everything to your liking. Link is in the description if you are interested.